This looks familiar. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my second part of Middle World Shadow of Mordor playthrough. I call it playthrough because I originally didn't intend to have voiceover, but I'm gonna try at least for a couple of uh, parts. We've just discovered the first tower, Forge Tower, or a spawn point. Every area on the huge gameplay map, or area, world, Mordor, world, whatever you want to call it, has one of these. And it helps a lot with uh, moving in between areas. Big ugly guys. We missed one of you at Narcos, eh? An easy mistake. Lovely accent, face. awesome face, beautiful lip design, and lip syncing, I should say. Look at what an amazing archer I am. Yeah, you can tell I've played a little bit of the game before. That's not my very first attempt. <laughs> so I played about to 15% of the story of the game. Uh, a few months ago when it was brand new that's when I recorded the first episode but then the expansion for Star Wars The Order of the came out and I just focused on that heavily around the Christmas and New Year's holidays I'm revisiting whoa ugly guy number one So around the holidays I have more time I meant to say. And let's do that again. We need information from this guy. And I know that I'm supposed to investigate or actually interrogate him. That's what we do to special orcs or captains before we kill them. We can extract information about our next target. Very good lip syncing, I should say. The growling, the talk, the speech, or a gag of grog. <laughs> First main mission in the game take out the slaver and learn information from one of his slaves. This is the menu with the captains, we see the first row, which usually consists of the weakest captains. Interrogating enemies, you can uncover valuable information about these captains. That's our first guy we need to kill. His title gives us clues about his role in the Uruk society. Next one, he's a veteran captain, power of five. A little bit later, I think, the tutorial will tell us exactly what power does, how we earn it, where we earn it, and what we can do with it. And if the tutorial and my video doesn't tell you, I'm sure you've seen plenty of other videos on YouTube already. You're watching this just because you enjoy Volk and my content, not because you want to learn something specific about the game, right? Gold icons, red icons, white icons. Gold gives us the story missions, we have two to begin with. Red icons display power struggles where the guys compete for status, that's how captains are born. 
or killed. The white ones give us uh, resources and points to purchase new upgrades for our weapons. We're given two main missions to start with. First one is the slaver, it's the main main one. The second one at the moment I can't really remember what was it, I'm not really sure if I did it. We'll see later on. But the first one we will be doing is definitely going for the slaver. Gimu. Mm, wait one, I think I've done that one. The map is very big and don't recall mentioning that but you can see. Every area of this huge map of Mordor has its own forge tower, a spawn point, which makes it very easy to move around the world. The Mithril Blade, yes I have done that one, it's about the archers as a bonus quest, I did that twice in my first playthrough, I can't remember why exactly, maybe I died, I failed the bonus quest or something. The world has changed, nothing makes sense. Oh, what the hell? Where is it? This is how it will be. A few. I was supposed to set it as a waypoint. Yeah, it's flashing. Okay. All right, we have it now. It's not too far away. And I can't remember. A lot of cool abilities and number of different kinds of attacks we're going to learn through gameplay and earning power points and resource points. Oh, I've always killed that orc. And I'm not gonna do it differently this way. I don't know why all of these guys have uh, English accent, but I love the English accent in every game. Maybe because, of course, I call it accent because I'm not English. <laughs> so to me it is an accent. One shot. And second headshot. Brave Walker wouldn't dare show his face round here. He can't go up against all oh, might. <laughs> Play power struggles to earn power. Next tier unlock 160 power. Next ability point after 635 experience. That's my favorite ability strike from above. Oh wow, shit loads of new discoveries. Pipeweed, well, okay, we all know about the pipeweed. And that's me. Bad guy. Bad looking guy, but a good guy and a good hero. Oh, I forgot about that. Press the right mouse button twice to counter both attacks at the same time if uh, more than one enemy is attacking me. <laughs> cool. Press spacebar if attack is unavoidable. It's usually marked with the reddish icon above the orc that's attacking me. Usually that's the captains doing this. Or big monsters. Combat finishes do extra damage against captains. Not bad. Yellow in the case Urukin is investigating. Red means he's about to kill me. Oh crap. Okay. Ooh, a captain. I've been dreaming of ways to cut you down. 
Allow me to show you a few. Space bar. Okay, I'm a little bit clumsy. I admit it, but I'm just beginning. I'll get better. Oops. Such a damn beautiful game. Oops. What was that speed attack I was doing? That's what happens every time I hate it. Every time I want to finish someone, another one attacks me and I have to block. But with so many enemies... Almost. Now is my chance. Yes! I think I finished it, yes. Oh no, crap. That was a close one. Yeah, that guy is a very weak captain. I can pretty much interrupt his attacks by just attacking myself. Oh, there we go. Ah, it's gone. That's it. Press quickly A, and when he is marked as green, I can do a series of quick attacks that builds my combo. I believe. Ouch! Crap. Where is my health potion? This guy marked with green can be interrogated, but because I'm in a messy fight, I won't have a chance to interrogate him right now. If I do that, I would generally have a chance to learn information about another captain in the Uruk's ranks. He is enraged of some sort. Ooh. Ow, crap. Use the mouse button to move and counter attack whatever is happening quickly. Right mouse button. Phew. Lovely. Love the animations in the game. He can't fool me. Scratched over. His black blood is all over the ground. Let's get our reward. Sixteen percent. What was that? The dagger bonus. Oh, 16% chance to recover elf shot after I finish an orc. Well, it's a very low tier rune, so it's understandable, it's crappy. <laughs> this is actually the mission I came here to do before I got attacked by the captain. The Mithril Blade. Bonus quest. Stealthily kill 10 slavers in 3 minutes. Actually, the bonus quest is to kill them without being detected a single time. I'm good at that. Well, I'm good already. But, like every noob, I needed a little bit of playtime to learn. Left one first, I believe. You don't see me! Nice. Whoa. Lovely finish. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're first. <laughs> Four out of ten, with two minutes remaining. Good pace. 
Sometimes I wish these animations would take less time <laughs> because I am on a timer. The new road is what? How is that talk? So I reckon we'll have another army fighting beside us soon. Ah, Alright, two more in front of me. What was that noise? Oh crap. Oh crap. That was a close one. I almost failed the bonus quest. Someone said that every time there's a geyser, another thousand ghouls come up out of the ground. They spawn from the mud whenever two more and plenty of time remaining. They're easy enough to kill. Ah. So it don't really matter. How did I never see that guy before? One more. Huh. That is the one I was looking downstairs, actually. He's upset. Pissing. Oh, I, cool. I killed the poor guy while well, he's pissing. <laughs> Bonus objective 50. Not bad. That's one third of the normal quest reward. Mirian is the name of the resource points that I'm learning to get new abilities. You're always so jumpy. Oh, green icon. Special work for interrogation. Artifact. That should be close. Oh, come on, why I'm so clumsy? Enter the Wraith world to locate the nearby artifact. And it's mine! Plus 50 Miriam. Where is it? Where is it? We have to turn around the object until we find the glowing point. There it is. Now we click it and we hear a little story. Lovely part the of the game. Messengers have rolled into camp. They're reporting few casualties. We've struck a mighty blow against the forces of Mordor aligned against us. Let it be so, and not fool's idle chatter. Hagedorn, what news? <laughs> they say we've won a monumental victory! <coughs> You'll not be needing all that Athelis you've been grinding, my friend. Few need healing on this day, and more's the wonder. They say the Golden King has brought back a prize. Sauron himself, they're in the heavy chains! Well, it's finished. It's not something vital for the main story, but it's cool to learn about it. Wax focus up. That's useful, but not right now. It's way too early in the progression. Rune slots is not something I'm after. I don't have too many runes, but health is I think the most important upgrade at the moment. I might be wrong. As I mentioned, I'm still a noob at the game. I haven't finished it. I just played a little bit a few months ago to understand the very basic gameplay. One hundred and seventy-five points. I never liked that. The speed, the elven speed. Karagors. Awesome monsters. I like uh, riding them. But I don't need that ability yet. This one I think will be lovely. I like the execution animations, if nothing else. I have lived half my Yeah, sorry for interrupting. A good captain needs to be fierce. That's how you keep the rabble alive. 
Look for a deal. Yeah, there are lore entries for each one of these things, but I'm not really sure if I want to show it all on the video. It's a little bit wasted time. But the game is full of side stories and lore everywhere about everything. We're about to start the very first main mission in the game. And for each one of these main missions, we get to see some kind of a cutscene. Well, this doesn't bode well. Don't you see? The prisoner created a distraction. Ruthless elf. Why use your human side to track the Uruk? I see more than any mortal. That space can afford to be a pathetic little worm. Slay the orc captain, cut off the head of the snake, and the body will wither. <laughs> Archers, I must take out the eyes of the camp. Eliminate four archers before attacking the captain. It generally shouldn't be too hard. They are located in very convenient spots, if I remember correctly. First one down. Oh, did I just slice his special area? Number two. Whoops. Damn it. That guy saw me. The yellow mark means he's looking for someone or something that's disturbing him. Did I just hear something? I should probably stop attracting his attention and leave him be. As soon as he turns around, I can shot him in the head. Maybe. Hmm. He's supposed to come here when I attract his attention. Maybe I'm too far away for that. I don't think anything was ever there. He's coming here to join us. Right, that's all we need. More maggots stealing our grog. Headshot. Yes. I don't care. Any slave trying to escape will starve to death on the pole. Don't think you can get away. Punish you myself. Number three is down. Number four is in front. Well, okay, that was a risky shot. The captain guy is down beneath us. There were elven arrows here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Where the hell are they? I don't think I'll need them, but just anyway. Two of my four available shots are already spent. Oh, there is one. Oh wait, I have full sword already. I was supposed to jump on his head, but I misclicked. Normal melee combat. 
Execution! Come on! Oh, what the hell did I do? Oh, that's it. He didn't say his intro speech, probably. That's why I couldn't finish him with the special finisher animation. I don't know if that's the case. Maybe just I failed. And he just turned green, which I believe means I can interrogate him, but for that I have to kill everything else. I'm not really curious about what he has to tell me at this point. It's too early in the game to try and learn about the secrets of the other captains. Wow. Oops. Damn it. Stop hitting me. Whoa. Whoa, that was a lovely kill. Ha! Huh. They ran away. That captain dropped bonuses depending on the way I killed them. Because I killed him with uh, a special finisher, I think. That's why they reward me a rune for my uh, dagger. If I kill him in normal melee combat, I should get the rune for my sword, but I'm not really sure if that's the way it works. Guess I'm about to learn. Oh, there it is. Killing a captain using his vulnerability will guarantee the type of rune he drops. Stealth kill, dagger, ranged, bow, combat, sword. What the hell? All the slaves look the same, that's a little bit frustrating. So you didn't die ten years ago. I take it you did not come here to arrest me for treason. Captain. You and I are all that remains of that garrison, Hugo. Then why did you come here? Looking for a slave that fought the black hand of Sauron. <laughs> more like ran away from him. You know this man. Of course. You're staring at him. Where are the servants of the Dark Lord? Do you even know? Perhaps. This is no time to keep secrets. I have been stuck here for weeks. Steady. Come to the outcast camp. We shall ask my scouts. I'll be there. Who is this? Oh no. The first time Gollum appears. You know, in my language, Gollum is actually called Amgul. I'm not exactly sure why, but because I've read the Lord of the Rings books in Bulgarian years ago uh, before the movies, I've actually learned all the Bulgarian translations of the name. Oops. Ooh, upgrade. Bad choice. Impact. Countered enemies will be knocked down or pushed back depending on their rank. Whoops. Did I just pick it? Crap. I think I have runes for my uh, dagger, not for the sword. Yeah. It's a second rune slot on my sword. I'll get the rune for the sword soon enough. Yeah, I just have one available. I have nothing to put in the second slot, but I think I have two runes for my uh, dagger. Nothing for the bow. Yeah, two runes for the dagger. 
That would be it for this part. In the next one we will meet Amgol or Gollum from a close distance. We will speak to him, he will be terrified and we will learn more information about what we are, what we are going to do and why we are here. I hope you guys enjoyed this second part of my playthrough and I hope you visit me with the next one. Have a nice day or an evening or whatever you are celebrating. Bye bye.